Kenyans are planning to now start blocking uh, traders from accessing their market. Welcome back from the night. I hope it was fantastic for you. And as usual, this is the Buzz UG. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. Now, a section of members of parliament have started engaging the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among, to have the House recalled from recess to discuss the likely rift between Uganda and Kenya arising from the reckless tweets made by the former commander of land forces, General Mohozi Kainerugaba. Now, these members of parliament said that they have received reports from Kenya suggesting that some Kenyans are planning to block lorries carrying goods to Uganda. We have heard that... Uh... Kenyans are planning to now start blocking uh, traders from accessing their market and also stopping uh, lorries that are carrying goods into this country. His words are poisonous. We should be very sensitive on this matter and as parliament we must pronounce ourselves uh, clearly on this important issue. But the parliament is quiet. Are we complicit in what's going on? And we need to put this uh, officer in order. It is not the first tweet. He's always giving out tweets, controversials, which are putting the nation at the risk. And they are deteriorating the diplomatic relations of our country with other countries. However, the chairperson of the Defense and Internal Affairs Committee, Rosemary Nachikongolo, says there is no need to recall parliament since President Museveni is handling the matter at the highest level. For me, I don't think that there is need to call back parliament because uh, the, the, His Excellency has already worked on it. And the fact that someone made a mistake and, and uh, that mistake has been corrected by even apologizing officially by the head of state. <laughs> Rosemary also noted that the Defense Committee will not summon General Mohonzi Kanerugaba as some members of parliament are anticipating. By the way, it is wasting time. The president has already apologized. Why should we call the CDF now to come and apologize on top of the president? Now, the members of parliament, however, want to engage the leadership of UPDF on how best its officers can be allowed to use social media. Actually, what we want to engage with the Minister of Trade is that special announcements, special important matters should be not announced on social media and they should be restricted from communicating on social media. The UPDF Act is very clear. UPDF officers should not engage in politics and they should not make statements which are, non, uh, which are partisan. That's why they are in the parliament and they are, they are listening posts. Now, the two UPDF soldiers that were allegedly kidnapped by the Congolese forces while in the market in Chisoro district were yesterday handed over to the Ugandan authorities at the Busanza border point. Now, before their release, the Congolese forces claimed that these two soldiers were on their territory, but the spokesperson of UPDF, Brigadier General Felix Glyge, said they had evidence these soldiers were kidnapped from the market at the border point. Now, the victims were dressed in civilian clothes at the time of the incident and they were not armed. Now, this week, I reported about President Museveni's minister for presidency, Miley Babalanda, who survived being punched by former Bobby Wine's bodyguard, Chumacha Yesu, in Canada. Now, this minister has warned that such behaviors can lead to the breakdown of the country. Babalanda has called upon Bobby Wine's supporters to be calm and embrace dialogue instead of resorting to politics of violence and confrontation. Bobby Wine's camp hasn't yet commented on this matter. Now, General Mohanga Kayanja, the chief commander in the Operation Shuja, yesterday addressed the media in Fort Porto on the appointment of Commander Land Forces. <laughs> Um, no, I put the media in, you know, 
He appreciated General Mohozi Kanerugaba for the great work done in that office and he said General Mohozi Kanerugaba's shoes are too big to occupy but he will always seek advice where necessary. Uh, my senior uh, brother, uh, General Mohozi Kainarugaba Gevademu, Abade Ye Ali Special, Senior Special Presidential Advisor on, spe on, on Special Operations. Kugamba says ye younger to Nini, Ake Yakoze Vinji Mofisium, Wigenda Kutandi Kirao, Kwembe Sanze. Jeno Kahinda Otafire's son, Ernesto Otafire, is also very disappointed in Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba over the tweets put on his Twitter handle directed to Kenya. Now, he said those tweets were very unpleasant and they could have mounted to a situation that could have caused a diplomatic crisis with Kenya. Well, Ernesto said soldiers need to stay away from making political statements and respect the army. <music> Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you right here on the Buzz UG. In case you have any comment, you know, the comment section is open for you. But most importantly, subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.